The SEO industry is changing. Hi everybody, I'm John Lincoln with Ignite Visibility and today I'm gonna walk you through the biggest changes and in investments that are happening to the SEO industry based off of the Ignite Visibility 2023 SEO industry study. Let's see where people are focusing for 2023 for search engine optimization and beyond. So in this industry study, we surveyed 121 marketing professionals in the United States. By the way, I'd like to add, if you'd like to download a PDF of this industry study and check out all the information yourself, you can go to go.ignitevisibility.com forward slash SEO dash industry dash study. Now here are some of the key takeaways before we dive into the details. 74% of marketers are now using creative assets. 73% of marketers are focused on YouTube. Most marketers didn't really see any change after the helpful content update. Almost three times more marketers rated internal links as more important than external links as a ranking factor. That was pretty surprising. It'll be interesting to get more into that data in a minute. The majority of marketers will be spending most of their budget on video content while only a small amount are gonna be spending most of their budget on blog content. But wait, there's way more that we're gonna dive into. So let's go ahead and take a look at chart number one. Here, we explored what's the greatest threat to the SEO industry. And when asked, marketers, they can't really settle on what the biggest threat is to SEO. That being said, at the end of the day, they settled that 19% feel the biggest threat is Google updates, while 18% feel it's lack of experience resulting in driving the wrong strategy. As an SEO professional for over 18 years, I can tell you the wrong strategy It'll kill you. Another thing we found from the study is that SEO spend is going to increase. 59% of marketers expect to spend more on search engine optimization in 2023. Next, we found that marketers are taking more of a strategic approach to Google updates. Rather than accepting results as they come, marketers are employing a variety of responses to Google. They're really emphasizing greater quality content. 50% of marketers are planning to produce more content. 34% of marketers are going to be investing in more high quality content. And 30 1% are going to be refreshing their old content. Now, I should mention all of this is in response to the Google Helpful Content Update. People are really focused on making better content. 49% of people said that the Google Helpful Content Update did not impact their rankings. That was surprising. 43% said that the rankings actually improved, and only 6.6% said that their rankings had dropped. Maybe they didn't all want to admit it? I'm not sure. Now, one thing that pretty much everybody agreed on was that some of the older school link building tactics are the least important to them to secure rankings. Our respondents show that link building related activities were their least prioritized SEO efforts. Rather than investing more in linking strategies, marketers are focused on creating great content. Now there's a little bit of a discrepancy in this though, so I need to make sure I clarify that. But first, let me finish the data. Link building found itself in the last place. Now in the last place of the context of this question, we asked what strategy is your top priority for securing great rankings? Emphasis on top. So only 16% of marketers plan to spend the most of their money on link building. That to me kind of makes sense. You know, just because we're seeing a shift away from external links, it doesn't mean that marketers are ignoring them. Backlinks are still among the most significant ranking factors, but strategies have kind of shifted. And in my opinion, they've shifted to something called digital PR, which I may be a little bit biased because that's a service that we see a lot of success with here at Ignite. When I say digital PR, I mean real press, responding to horrors, creating great content, people want to link to and reaching out to them and telling them about it. So really promoting great content, writing great content, kind of like what we're doing right now. Make a great industry study, tell a lot of people about it, build links that way. That's the way Google wants you to do it. By the way, if you want to link to this study, I would appreciate it. A little bit of a contradiction following that, while people weren't investing most of their money in link building, which I agree with, by the way, many people felt it was one of the most important ranking factors still. Let me give you the data. So when asked to rate the perceived impact of external links on search engine optimization, only 16.7% of people gave it less than a five on a scale of one to 10. The majority of people rated it pretty darn high. Take a look right there. That's a pretty big amount of people who felt it was important. Now, perhaps one of the most impactful things we got from the study is that videos on the rise. When asked what type of creative content marketers found the most valuable and felt was the most valuable for their consumers, 48% said video, 32% said photos, 14.9 said infographics, and only 4.1 said GIFs. Now, when asked what types of videos they're planning to create in 2023, here's what we got. 53% said product or service demo videos. 48% said how-to videos. 37% said customer testimonial videos. 39% said information strategy videos. And the rest were all below 
22% for hacks, a day in the life, tour of a space, or something else. Now, one thing marketers were clear about is in their experience, they get the most ROI out of short form video. Bonus, we also know that Google's showing video a lot more in the search engines now. So video, video, video. You should be investing. When asked about the difference between short form and long form video, 92% of marketers say they see a higher ROI with short form video. Now, we're not done yet. Listen to this. 72% of marketers said YouTube will be part of their strategy in 2023. 72% are gonna have a YouTube strategy. That's a big deal. And that's a definitely a big shift from three or four years ago. So at the end of the day, what did we learn? Video is going to be big. Social content is going to be big. People are investing in content. People are investing in digital PR and building links the right way. People are spending more on search engine optimization than ever before. SEO continues to be a major growing channel for online businesses. If you have any questions or comments about this industry study, Ignite Visibility, conducted throughout February of 2023, go ahead and leave a question or comment below. Again, John Lincoln with Ignite Visibility. CEO. Thanks so much for watching today. Talk to you next time. Goodbye.